Hey, welcome everybody. Keith Brown, Tack Room Devotional. And uh, I'm glad you're here. Uh, this week I want to take a look at an article that was sent to me. It's called The Seven Prophetic Words for the Battle Weary. Now, I'm not exactly sure who wrote it, but I do know that it came from the Elijah List. Now, the Elijah List is a, a group of uh, people who operate in the prophetic and they send in articles to give a prophetic word to the church, okay? Now, this person says that these, sh they have seven uh, prophetic words and they're for those who are battle weary and if you're going through something let's say you're battling something I'm gonna believe God by the power of the Holy Spirit that this week one of these words these prophetic words that were given by this person and again I wish I had their name but I don't I'm believing that one of this one of these words on one of these days or maybe a, mul a, a, a multiple group is going to give you a word that you can stand on and have victory in whatever it is you're going through. Okay, are you ready? First of all, realize too that the Holy Spirit is the one that gives uh, utterance, gives utterance to, to, to all of the speaking gifts like the word of knowledge, the word of wisdom, uh, prophecy, tongues, interpretation of tongues, all of these, the, the, gift, the, um, the gifts of the Spirit are given by the Holy Spirit. But if you look at the Holy Spirit, he has several names. We've talked about the names of the Holy Spirit in the past. For instance, he's called the helper. He's called the teacher. He's called the comforter. He's called the advocate. He's called the intercessor. He's called the strengthener. He's called the standby. He's called the revealer of truth. And he's called the one who empowers us. Now, when you are dealing with an issue, let's say you're dealing with an issue um, uh, that... that of anxiety. Well, you're going to need a comforter. Well, guess what? The person of the Holy Spirit has been sent to you to comfort you. And he has a word, but sometimes he gives that word through other people. And that's where we are this week. I believe that there's a word here for you if you're going through something and you're weary of fighting this battle. Listen closely because there's a word here for you. All right, so the first word that this person wrote is, Who do you say that I am? Now this comes from Matthew chapter 16, starting with verse 13. And it says this, When Jesus came into the region of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, saying, Who do men say that I am? Uh, or who do men say that I, the Son of Man, am? So they said, some say John the Baptist, some say Elijah, and others Jeremiah or one of the prophets. But he said to them, but who do you say that I am? And Simon Peter answered and said, you are the Christ, the Son of the living God. Okay, once again, this prophetic word for you is you need to understand that if you understand who Jesus is, if you know that his name and, and understand who he represents, you can have victory. See, he's not just a man. He's not just a prophet. He's not just a teacher. And yet he did all those things. No, he is actually the son of God. He was God and became man and came to earth for you and I. Okay? If you're going through something, you need to know this. You need to know who he is. Notice what happens. It goes on. And Jesus said, answered and said to Simon Bar... Now remember, it was Simon Peter who said, You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. And Jesus answers him and says, Blessed are you, Simon Barjona, for flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my Father who is in heaven. So in other words, again, here's a prophetic word that Simon heard. He's the Christ. He's the Son of the living God. Now you say, well, why is that so important? Well, listen what he goes on to say. Remember, this is Jesus. And he says, And I say to you that you are Peter, 
And on this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Now, some religions believe that Peter was the rock that he built his church upon. That's not what it says here. It's this revelation that Peter had, the revelation of the fact that he is the Christ, the Son of the living God. That's what the church is built upon. The fact that Jesus is the Son of the living God. And so it says, and since he had that, here's what Jesus said. He said um, that flesh and blood didn't uh, reveal it to him, but his Father in heaven. And it goes, and I say to you that you're Peter, and on this rock, this rock of revelation, I'll build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Now, if you're going through a battle, you need to hear this. The gates of hell shall not prevail against the church and you're part of the church if you're a born again child of God. And you think, wow, that's pretty powerful. Read on. And it says, Jesus says, and I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. And so as you study scripture out and you study Jesus, you'll find out he's given us the keys of the kingdom. How we can walk in the victory of the kingdom of God. But that would be good too, that the gates of hell can't prevail against us and that he's given us the keys to the kingdom of heaven. But watch this. Here's another thing that he says. And whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven. And whatever you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. In other words, whatever that thing is that's bothering you, if you believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of the living God, gates of hell shall not prevail against you. You have the kingdom of God available to you, the keys to the kingdom, and now it's up to you. Bind that thing that is bothering you. Whatever you bind on earth is bound in heaven. Whatever you loosed on earth is loosed in heaven. Why? Because of what Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, did for you and I. Who do men say that I am? That has set you free. Hey, I'm Keith Brown. This is Tackering Devotional. Jesus loves you. I love you. I pray that God would richly bless you as you diligently seek him and serve him.